guys i know it's been a minute but welcome to back to our roots homestead on this edition we're gonna give you guys an update from that crazy winter storm we had so come on back used to the city now we got our own land life's getting real busy busy none of it was ever planned got the crib looking pretty pretty with a garden full of plants plans. and we built our own committee yeah from the bottom we advanced yeah Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots, Put on. it's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots, yeah. yeah, now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots, it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops Right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now All right, guys, as you can see, I told you this was gonna be a, an update from the winter storm we just had last week. As you can see, it is 80 degrees here. That's crazy. Compared to us being in the, the teens, it was like 10, I think it was 10 degrees the coldest we had? 10. 10. I, and it was 10 for, to me, the biggest thing was not that it got cold, but that it stayed cold. Like it never, that never happens here. So you'll get yeah, a it was consistently cold. cold. Yeah, I think the coldest it ever got in Houston, I think, is eight or nine degrees, and it was that temperature for like seven days, which is crazy. Yeah, I mean, and it was like, guys, and I know a lot of people were hit by a winter storm, but here in Houston, it just like it's unheard of for us to go through what we went through we had snow that actually stayed around for a while but um not to complain because what i will tell you guys is it taught for me personally it taught me a lot about just being grateful for the things we had and have um for me to be out here today in an actual tank top um when last week i had three layers of socks on and yeah. pants and shirts no anyway, water yeah lights you know, going in and off but it's crazy i was talking to a friend and i said it's things we take for granted like waking up in the morning saying oh well let me go turn the water on and wash my face and brush my teeth and get a drink of water like all those things and you know like overnight they can just be taken from you and um yeah. so just grateful that we survived we made it through and there's so many people who didn't so you know we definitely want to um send our prayers to those who are still struggling and actually lost uh, lives and lost loved ones from this storm that we had so we're definitely grateful to be here and what we want to do is just give you guys a quick update on um the seeds that we've gotten planted since then and Miss Linda, I'm going to say this. We um, we kind of watch you a lot to see what you're doing, when you're doing it, what you're planting, when you're planting, how to plant, all those things. So, yeah. And that's, I think said, that's a big thing, like, is when to plant and when not to plant when you first start. And, and like I say, this is just our second year gardening. So, and last year we got a late start. So, it's real important that you watch time zones because we watch all of the, the channels and everybody's good at what they do. But I can't play plant when just say like turf therapy or rob is playing because they're in a colder climate yeah so because mrs linda is so close to us and the climates are similar it's really important to watch her to learn when to plant and that's why i'm right we write down now when we plant stuff and when we planted it when it germinated everything now to keep a record so next year we'll know when to plant that's very important for new gardeners yeah miss linda i have to try and get on his schedule when you're putting out a new video <laughs> he says baby hold on miss linda is talking so i gotta try and get on his schedule but um <laughs> no we are so grateful for everybody though because we learned so much from everybody um so what i'll show you what we'll show you guys today is what we've gotten planted since then as you can see here we have some okra as well as that's okra see. too it's just red this is red okra so we got three red okras here and regular okra yeah and we got some squash some zucchini and black reason, beauty zucchini by the way and i like the the, the squash and zucchini the, the 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 borers get in there and kill the plants so i think it's best to just do like five at a time and stagger them so that when they do kill them you have another one ready to replace it so that you continuously get 
um, vegetables the whole the whole sp uh, spring, spring and summer. Last spring we got quite a few. Well, that um, was summer. We didn't even plant them to summer. summer you're yeah. Right. So this year we're getting we we'll get much more. We got quite a few squash. Yeah, we and did. Zucchini. We did. And then we have some more green beans here, as you guys can see. Green beans. J green beans. Sapper. Um, what do we have here? And cucumbers. cucumbers. And these these are all cucumbers, guys. They're just different kind. Here's a uh, Chicago pickling. That's the one we um, send to Gigi. The, the yellow one. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. J je jelly troll. I don't know either. I just we're gonna go with that. I just call them yellow cucumber. Uh, market market more. more and puna kana. Puna who? Kana. Puna kana. <laughs> puna kana cucumber. My handwriting is horrible. And then here we have um. Yellow monster. Yellow monster bell yep. peppers. Ozark giant bell peppers. These are Ozark right here. We have some. Not, not not a pino. Not not a pina. Not a pina. I think that means they're not hot. They're, they're that, jalapeno peppers, but, but they're, they're not, not hot jalapeno yeah, peppers. Yeah. And then these are some tam jalapeno peppers. I think those are hot. And some poblano peppers poblano. that we all know are hot. Yeah. We have two Tabasco peppers and here, I, guys. Guys, you can tell the difference. My wife wrote these, so you can see the difference <laughs> in the handwriting. I didn't write these. Oh, little Chris did. Yeah, little Chris wrote these. Okay. I didn't write any of these. All right. I was doing other things. But we have two Tabasco back here, guys. One of them did not it didn't um, germinate, germinate so we'll doing. probably replant this one. The other one back here did. Cayenne this Tabasco. Is doing, yeah, the cayenne's Cayenne. are doing really good. Habanada. Yep. And some datil. One of them didn't germinate. One of those didn't germinate either. Um, I'll save that one for last. You can talk about it. And then we have our mini bell peppers here that we did plant last summer. Good, good, good. And some banana peppers. All right. And, and here we have our good old moringa seeds. From my man Dan. Dan, <laughs> I told you I'm gonna have a lot of trees, man. So I hope all of these germinate and we're gonna we're gonna put them out here. <laughs> so guys well um do you want to go over here or yeah we go right here so we'll go over here um and and i think i said this before guys i wasn't crazy about the eggplant but we're gonna try it again just give yeah, it a try maybe i maybe it was me maybe it wasn't the eggplant but <laughs> i just refused to believe it was me uh, <laughs> No, seriously. So we're going to try it again. And we got some bull nose peppers here yeah. and some sunflowers back here. Yeah. Um, stevia plant that I bought. Yeah. It's a starter plant. I want to try that. Um, these are starter plants that That's I got garlic. here. These are garlic chives. Both yeah. of these are. And yeah. Then we got some catnip. Some good old catnip. Oh, wait. I got something behind me. <laughs> My light. Um, and then this is a strawberry starter plant that I got. Yeah, I got a, I got a big, uh, thing coming a to put those in. A huge one. Yeah. And then we got some cilantro here, some, um, onion, and, sorry y'all, what is this, some lavender. Mm -hmm. I want to try and do some different things with this lavender plant, so we'll see how that goes. And we didn't get to plant garlic, so I think that's the best thing, so... All right, you want to do the onion? Yeah, we can go to the onion. So I was afraid that the snowstorm we had was going to destroy our onion, but he said it won't. Well, I hope it don't, but I know onions can so, take, they, they can take cold weather, so. But you guys can see they're still standing. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I might hit them with a little fertilizer just to give them a little, a little life, but they're hanging in there. Trying so. to. Yep. And in case you guys are wondering, can you show him that Fox is still around? I don't know. Fox is chilling today, y'all. Y'all <laughs> probably never seen him that still and quiet. Hi, dude. <laughs> He's like, don't mess with me today. Took him to the vet last week, so maybe he just ain't feeling too well. I don't know. Yeah. Been making buckets. Got tons of buckets out here ready to go. Yeah, guys, over here, we've really been cleaning, um, trying here, to... Here's all the dead leaves for everything. that we lost off, off our collard greens. Wait, wait, let me change because I got to start using this. Brassicas. See, I got to oh, step my game me. up and start using the right language. <laughs> brassicas. My brassicas, <laughs> those are the ones that uh, that uh, died, and we just yeah. cut them off, and so we're going from there. And I like the brassicas. Keep going. But, yeah, we're getting the buckets ready. So I'll tell you guys, we are. Yeah, we're in the going process of put some more um, 
we weed barrier, barrier down. Yeah. Because this needs to be redone. Yeah, yeah we got to redo this whole area. And these are the last of the 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 brassicas. The, uh, didn't make it. Yeah, they didn't make it. So I've been just we just been doing them day by day, knocking them out. We had almost 200 buckets, so this is all that's left. So we're getting them getting them done, but that's what it is. Yeah, we're gonna put a trellis out here to grow our cucumbers on. But yeah, we definitely got to put more reed barrier do down. This yeah. Weed barrier. Yeah. But here's our cabbage. We did get the cabbage planted. Yeah, these we started these from starters, and they they just we we had them inside, so they kept they uh they survived inside. <laughs> so now we brought them out. So got some red cabbage and some just regular cabbage, and this is the only cabbage that survived that from the storm, and it's, it's still hanging in there and yeah, fighting. It's trying to. There's a baby in there. Yep, still hanging in there. We gotta cut some of those leaves off, and this is where we are right now yeah and we're trying a new system um guys we're gonna we're gonna put um four rows of five buckets and close to each other and make like little squares and so um it will you see we, we started on this one um that one's already done it has five and then this one is um on the third row but um once we do it it'll be 80 plants just in this little area and then we'll still have room to put more plants so well over 100 plants and this is spinach, um, lettuce, and Swiss chard. It it survived through the yeah, it did through the winter. I mean through the storm. I mean we came out and clipped some of the dead leaves off, but you probably can see that with the brassica we have up here. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up clipping a lot. Yeah, we did. But you know, a lot of them are still going, and we'll see how they go. And you know, ain't gonna complain. It's people that have a lot worse than we do. So at the end of the day, we just come out here and try to do our best and learn from everybody. And if anybody can learn from us, that's a great situation. But uh, it is what it is. All right, guys, we'll head over to the uh, herb garden and show you what we have going on over there. All right, guys, so we are here in our herb garden. Yeah. It don't look too pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one took a beating. They got this man, Mike Tyson hit this joint. And, <laughs> <laughs> and in case you guys are wondering, we and we did cover them also with two of our uh, frost blankets, but they didn't make it. Nah. So yeah. we are in the process of cleaning all of this. Yeah, clean and start over. And, uh, we start over. Yeah. So, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. And what we got over here? I don't know what this is. Um, some of them died too. Those are our uh, bok choy, the ones we used in the. Um, oh, for the challenge. For the challenge. That they, one looks okay, but yeah, these guys. They're struggling. I don't know. This one. That is one's. Hard. This is kohlrabi. Oh yeah. yeah, this is bok choy right here. Yeah. Yeah, they're struggling a little bit. I put them out. Hopefully they'll mm -hmm. come back, bounce back. But they, it was cold, and it is what it is. I'm gonna get my baskets up. Some, bought some new baskets. Yeah, I want to put some herbs in them, but I haven't. Miss Renee and Miss Linda, you you know you see what y'all started. Yeah. She, she stays shopping now. I um, I want to put them up. They're for my herbs, but I don't know where I want to put them. So I gotta figure it out. Think about putting them right there. It won't work. Yeah, I this to, is too. I, um, yeah, I can drill through the. I can drill through the steel. I think they're super cute. And you see, and I can write right there. Yeah. The name of it. Anyway. I can drill through the steel. We'll get them up. And we got our sweet potatoes. My man Q. Q, I'm trying, man. You gotta give me some advice, but they haven't been in there too long, so we'll give it a second. And this is purple bok choy that we planted. Uh, we got kale here. Egyptian kale from, from Dan, once again from Dan. Thousand head kale. And um, some black kale. And somebody want to say hi. He <laughs> made his way over. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and these? And he wasn't trying to stay out in that cold. I promise y'all, he got in the house some kind of way. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> yeah, he's gone too. I think the only thing that might make it is the sage. Sage might make it. Yeah, but the rest of this, 
that's nah. Gonna, that's gonna be fine too. That's mint. This is chocolate mint, actually. Yeah, mint will make it. Yeah, I wanna um. Never had chocolate mint. I will tell you guys, it smells like chocolate and mint. Yeah. Never tried it before, but this was a uh, parsley. Parsley. I think you guys probably saw the last video. The good thing about this is we did um, harvest it in time, so we could make some good old homemade parsley flakes, and it mm. is some kind of good. Yeah, and we'll we'll replant, start over, like Miss Linda say, put some seeds in the ground. <laughs> So, guys, that is our update for the day. Um, we got a lot of work to do. We've gotten a lot done, but we still got a lot of work to do. I'm just grateful that, you know, like I said earlier, we survived and the plants that didn't make it will start all over. But, again, truly appreciate all of you. Thank you for the support. Man, everybody that sent this checking on us and everything, thank you guys so much. Yeah, it, um, it was kind of crazy, but... Yeah. You know, again, this community is, to me, it's more than teaching and learning about gardening and vegetables. It's, um, it's a family. It really, truly is like a family. Yep. So we greatly appreciate you guys welcoming us, um, taking us in, and checking on us. So thank you. Tell somebody to subscribe. We appreciate you. Appreciate the support. Like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. We'll see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Out or something. What? What do you want? Yeah, right now, right now, yeah, yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots Back to our roots